So hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, my fellow creative designers and content creators. Welcome once again to another exciting episode on this channel. And this is Aki Graphics. And today's episode, this is what you are going to design. We are going to design this beautiful church flyer in Photoshop. And guys, if this is the first time of you coming across this channel, please subscribe to this channel, like, share, comment, and watch more of these tutorials because we have plenty a lot of tutorials in which you can learn from so basically today this is what you are going to design yes i'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step approach on how i was able to achieve this beautiful church flyer so without wasting much time control n to open a new document when you launch the photoshop from the beginning now i have my recent here realize that the recent and um, far size that i've created then the width is 2000 height 2000 resolution 300 pixel per inch i'll just write the title church flyer okay so church flyer is okay everything is okay since it's going to be for social media handles i'll click on i'll click on create then boom i have this nice background or interface now we are going to work with the background so quickly i'll go to my this rectangle to and then pick a rectangle draw a beautiful rectangle like this and then hit and uh, click it like this way then i set a gradient overlay for it all right so now right click and then paste layer star and then it means i've pasted the gradient and if i go to this gradient session let me show you the hex code and then i think i use something like this so let me just show you here is this hex code is what we use b9 3716 B9 3716. I'll click on OK. Then I came to this side and came and picked 2C0404. 2C0404. So I'll click on OK. Then here to OK. Then I set the angle to what 90. Style is what linear. Uh, blending mode normal. And everything is OK. So I'll click on OK like this. And then boom, I have this. Now the same rectangle to our uh, add layer. Uh, our add layer. And I'll go to the rectangle to and I'll draw a beautiful white line. Then I'll fill the color with white. Let's select the white color. And then that is it. That is it. That is it. So I can decide to push this down a bit. Then I'll go to the resources file. Yes, quickly go to the resources file. And then drag this image into Photoshop. Hold Alt and scale it up like this to cover the entire screen. And then push it up like this. Press Enter. And then we are going to change the op uh, opacity to something 50 like this. And this is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. Then left with this one. Let's go to the resources file again. Then we drag this um, white BG onto it. And then push it down a bit this way. Hold Alt and scale it up to cover it. Press Enter. Right click. And then create clipping mask. Now you just go to this um, filter. Go to blur and go to Gaussian blur and set the blur to something 20 is okay. So I'll click on okay nicely like this. And I think this and uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I have to still do more. So I'll drag this white effect, drag it in Photoshop and then release it. Hold Alt and then boost it up or scale it up this way and push it up. Push it up. You can still scale it a bit this way. Press enter and then a check. Okay, so the changes has been accepted successfully. Then the first one and the last one selected everything in the group control G and then call it background. Good, good. And let me just remind you in graphic design or in any design at all, graphic designs covers four key elements or four key areas. Sorry, not element, four key areas. First one is what working with the background. Sometimes people want to interchange them. Yes, you can work with the background first. Now working with image, the second one, working with text and adding beauty to the flat or to the design. So any of them, you can start any of them first. Somebody can start with working with the image, working with the text before working with the background and finally add beauty to the whole design. So we started by what the background. So the background is set nicely now quickly, let's go and introduce our image yes let's go and quickly introduce our image for for the purpose of the tutorial these are the two image i am using oh no 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 
okay so we still want to use the same image we used for the flower I you saw there so we drag them inside nicely like this and then we just check it this way now let's rearrange the image well let's rearrange the images well so this we position it and then go to view go to guide go to new guy layout and set here to six set here to five then merge this side check here and then we can check this side to to clear existing guys and then click on ok and then we have this now you can decide to select both the image and then bring it down to see if they are in line and i think the image are in line and then with the rules or with the guys it also will help us what to set or to know the center of the whole design now we brought a few details such as the name yes yeah, such as the name hit t on the keyboard or come and hit t here text to hit here and then write the name um all right so we just type the first name let's change it to color white so that it will be visible for you to see and then the font we are using is ardo the pocha ardo the pocha now let's see the font size we are using 10 let's make it maybe 15 and 15 is okay good perfect 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 then we drag it to this side and i think this is awesome this is awesome you can just adjust it drag it duplicate it using alt and then drag it up then double click inside and type width yes width i'm going to use a font called taking by watches yes taking by watches font this is is it and then we gave it something like color yellow closer to this yeah just boost it a bit and that is it then here too we can give it something like 20 perfect 22 is small so let's make it 40 and see and i think 40 is okay 40 is okay let's zoom it inside and then bring it closer to it perfect 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 so just use your rule to adjust it if it's not in line now with the two image selected hold alt and then drag it to the side and then we have duplicated the image or oh, sorry the names yes we have duplicated the names then we can just pick on the first one and then just type this one oh no 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 we can hide this one for the meantime and then come and type this one and then type esther then you come and beneath one esther smith so guys maybe that is not their names or maybe we have interchanged them but this is the name that we use on the uh, on the video so we, we have to use the same thing now this and this in a group you call it names and image names uh, and uh, image good so names and image is set perfectly now you see that we have added the image and then we are still moving with text at the same time so realize that name and image we said working with the background working with image working with text and adding beauty so then image is set now let's see if we have more resources and i think the logo the logo 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 the church logo we push it up and then release it this way and then hold pick the rectangular marking tool and then come and cut only the name Come and cut only the name control j to duplicate only the name double click at the edge here and let's use color overlay and change it to color white color overlay to so push here to color white and then click on ok good now this and this control j and then call it logo oh good good so that is it we have our logo set and done so this is it and then the few details we brought such as the theme and other things yeah the theme and other things now with the image i think we did something we did something or did something we have to match the two image together and then blur the okay so let me blur here a bit and awesome this is perfect this is perfect this is perfect and if you look at it this is it this is it this is it this is it so now we created a rectangle here we created a rectangle here perfect this way all right so with this one the gradient we copied from the other side let's still paste it here 
and then awesome then we can go there and then reverse it yes let's reverse it this way then we push it up this way yeah we push it up this way perfect 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 and then we just do the typing t on the keyboard hit here and then let's write our details let's write our details yeah let's write our details so with the details just let me go and copy them let's let me go and copy them yeah let me go and copy them so all this becomes our uh, details yeah let me go and copy them and then we move everything we move everything over here and then come and place it here boom that's it that's it that's it that's it that's it that's it and this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome yeah this is awesome then we can delete this one since we have brought everything together since we have brought everything together and then if you look at it, this one let me start hiding them and then show you what we did let me start hiding them and show you what we did or how we're able to achieve this yes let me hide them and show you what we did a step by step yeah so the first one is this okay we created the rectangle the two the first one and then we gave this a color from this side and then we duplicate it and then we brought this top one as you saw then we gave it a gradient overlay the gradient overlay you saw here is black and then here is somewhere dark red, red. then we brought the we shall the font we are still using is ardo the poacher no antilles font sorry antilles font for we shall then overcome is still the same font then we brought this the power of the flesh we shall overcome the power of the flesh that is the thing then we brought the date which is on the 14th to 24th october 2024 this year then we brought the time 6 a.m to 9 a.m each night then we brought the rectangle beneath a thin line and then we added the location which is thema community 25 estate junction and then our uh, finally our facebook names or the social media handle details followed then we added the names and the few details and we were done with the whole flyer so with this one and this control j to put it in a group and then call it details details and then that is it and guys this is how we're able to achieve this beautiful church flyer in photoshop and guys don't forget i'll post a link to download all the resources file and then the psd file as well if you want to practice you can practice and send it to me on my channel i'll post the channel link as well my social media handle channel link and then our whatsapp platform link so that you can join and share your works so that we can also have fun and interact on that channel i love you i'll see you in the next tutorial please don't forget to subscribe like share comment and let me know how this video or this tutorial has been helpful to you until then i'll see you in the next tutorials bye for now